the knowledge of the scriptures and the need to peruse the scriptures is very important. Hey, I'm Jimmy Hendrick, and this is this episode is called In Touch with the Scriptures on Empower Your Pattern 2.0. Did you know that there are success principles that can help you receive more, help you live and enjoy a better and extraordinary life right now? Well, I'm Jimmy Hendrick. I'm a success, confidence, and thrive coach. I'm a self-published author, a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And if you come with me, I will help you find these success patterns. Let's go. I have here in my lap an open bottle. (laughs) You know, Theodore Roosevelt said this. He said, a thorough knowledge of the Bible, this book I'm tapping loudly right here, is more valuable than a college education. I might say it gives you comfort and hope and, and guidance. You know, something, uh, Benjamin Franklin said one of the insights he got from the scriptures is that he knows that the Lord regards us in our daily actions. So I think that's pretty awesome in and of itself because we, we need the scriptures because I know, I know this series, we, we, we are a little bit more on the secular side. But without the scriptures, we are sad, lost puppies. You heard me. Without the scriptures, we are sad, lost puppies. And I'm not just saying that. There is plenty of evidence since we took God out of the public school and public squares of what's happened. Violent crime has been on the rise. Standards in schools have dropped. Drug problem. And every moral quagmire known to man has come up. And that's why we need the scriptures. You know, when I think about what Theodore Roosevelt said, he was a man of deep faith. He he used the King James Bible. Um, He was, remember the Dutch Reformed Church, which is now the uh, Reformed Church of America, which is kind of, kind of akin to uh, this Presbyterian Church. He was in touch with the scriptures, and so that's important. You know, I'm going to say this. One thing that, as, as members of uh, the Restored Church of Christ, um, I think some of the council from apostles and and prophets and those that minister over us. Wise counsel through seeking revelation can also be considered in part scripture. Now I know that's kind of controversial and we'll just leave it at that. But having wise sage counsel and, 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 and taking it to the scriptures. There have been times in my life Particularly, you know, towards the end of my college years, when I feel like in some ways I had strayed from the scriptures, you know, in my late twenties. After finishing college, you know, moving off to Arlington, Texas, and briefly involved in the 
drug and party subculture of inner city Arlington led to the end of my marriage and, and broken hearted and ultimately a deeper conversion listen to me if you want to know success patterns look in the scriptures look in the proverbs look over to the teachings of Jesus look over to the teachings of Paul you know, or even even more blessed James and Peter and John I'm telling you you need to be in touch with the scriptures you need to it, it, because they have success patterns in them and they can pierce you to the very center you know uh, I started this series you know, it was called Cap Method Teaching, CAP. Um, I developed that theory based on being immersed in the scriptures and the theological thought in the day of my conversion back in 2001. And so, you know, now you hear where I'm coming from. If you really become really in touch, and I mean seriously really in touch with the scriptures, and remain close to the Lord as much as possible, your life could never be the same. You'll see the obvious success patterns of principled centered living, of, of uh, decisive choices, decisive actions, and a clear path, a clear plan on how to pursue happiness. I was originally, when I started podcasting back in 2018, I was going to call it Choose, Act, Be Happy. But be happy was too uh, simplistic, you know, it's being followed in. Therefore, pursue happiness. Became more in line. Looking here, it's a it's a beautiful sunrise, guys. If only you knew. It's a beautiful sunrise. Seriously, start your morning in the scriptures. That each day, you can make decisive choices. Decisive actions and find that clear pattern that awesome pattern to help you pursue happiness now I hope you enjoyed listening to Empower You Pattern 2.0 if you like what you hear please subscribe and become a part of the Empower become a citizen of Pattern Realm if you desire coaching, you can contact me at Empower Your Pattern, lowercase one word, at gmail.com, and, and I'll be glad to help you. It's Jimmy Hendricks until next time saying, don't sit there and take it. Build your dreams so you can take it. Do what others don't so you can be what others won't. And do what others won't so you can have what others can't. Choose act and pursue happiness. God bless you.